Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to what I think is the most underrated galaxy in the galaxy games. But before that, really quick, shout out to the six of you guys that were able to catch my Demon Slayer video before it got taken down. I didn't think I had enough scenes in it to constitute a copyright, but uh, I guess I did, but new Demon Slayer episodes fire, bro. Y'all should check it out. But anyways, I think Slimy Spring Galaxy is a galaxy that does not get the love that it deserves. Allow me to tell you guys why, give my thoughts on the level as I take you guys through this insane galaxy. So, as we're flying in, it gives you a brief little overview. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan of water levels, and this mostly is a water level, so that's saying something. First, we gotta start out with the atmosphere. You're in some foggy cave, deep into some underground well. And, uh, oh, better switch to Luigi real quick. But anyways, I've always been a fan of like the foggier weather that's like kind of humid, rainy, still warm though. And that's kind of the vibes I'm getting from this level. So anyways, as you start the entrance to the cave, ominous, two torches. There's actually a pipe up here, but that's just a bonus area. We don't care about that. Anyways, as you hop down the slide, you just ascend into the cave. And then throughout the level, it's just like this atmosphere of like kind of slowly getting darker and darker and like deeper and deeper into the water. And uh, this part's a little bit boring, but... So anyways, as you speed ahead, you can uh, dodge some urchins, got some scary eels. And then, finally, if you don't... I remember the first time playing this, I almost ran out of air, and there's just like this nice feeling of relief. But then you're like, uh-oh, I'm only halfway done. Now I have to go down another tunnel. This next part is really strange. There's like some like speedy rings. I think these were only seen once in the game and just some booze underwater. And uh, this part's just super satisfying to just like get all the rings and just glide. And then finally the last climb. You're almost out of air. I remember the first time playing this. As a kid, I ran out of air. I was taking damage and I had one life left. Everything, the struggles of life, the vanishes. Oh, oh, what's gonna happen? Uh. A deep exhale as the music completely cuts off and you're greeted with this amazing sunset with two waterfalls on each side. Actually, maybe more of a sunrise. I always just, this is like the most peaceful part of the entire game for me. Cosmic, uh, Cosmic Cove Galaxy is a close second, especially the soundtrack, but honestly, part of what makes this level underrated is just the actual, like, just like vibes at the end, just the entire thing. I'm not saying it's the best gal galaxy ever, but you gotta appreciate it for what it is, man. So anyways, Captain Toad pops out, and you get a star from him, but uh, yeah, that's about all for the video. If you guys would like to see another galaxy video, holler at me, I can cover any galaxy. Cosmic Cove probably next, because that galaxy is amazing as well. Anyways, see ya.